On today's episode, hyperscale defense manufacturing in a 5 million square foot plant. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. If there's one thing that has long been true of mass production, it's that it's capital intensive. Unlike the software industry, growing a business from a startup to a multinational corporation takes far more than intellectual property. It takes facilities and a great deal of institutional knowledge. Now, that's especially true of the defense industry, where a handful of large American contractors effectively run the domestic market. Now, it's been that way for years, but is that the way forward? In a sign that times are indeed changing in defense manufacturing, Costa Mesa, California-based Anduril Industries has announced a $1.5 billion investment to create a giant new manufacturing facility the company calls Arsenal One. Anduril specializes in autonomous systems, and the 5 million square foot facility will be built around the company's digitally driven manufacturing system called Arsenal. Arsenal is a software-defined manufacturing platform designed to allow rapid scale-up of production to address the fundamental problem with today's complex and advanced weapon systems, lead time. Several Defense Department simulations suggest that advanced weapon systems would be exhausted after a week of war with a near-peer adversary like China, and the severe shortages of even simple systems like artillery shells has been a noteworthy factor for both sides in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Advanced production automation combined with modern development methodologies like the digital twin and simulation, well, they help with production scalability. But Anduril intends to use a software platform the company calls Lattice to use software-defined systems to replace bespoke and expensive military-grade hardware. The principle is to use commercial-grade and commonly available products such as sensors and actuators configured with code for specific military missions. While the concept of using civilian products for military purposes predates World War II, Anduril has developed an integrated digital manufacturing platform called the Arsenal Operating System, specifically for very high rate production, including the use of AI to enable low-skilled or semi-skilled labor to perform tasks previously done by specialists. There is one area where the company is reverting to old-school methodologies, and that's facilities. Modern mass production generally relies on distributed supply chains, and for defense procurement, spreading manufacturing capability around through multiple districts is a known strategy to win contracts. While Anduril has not stated where their mega factory will be built, all 5 million square feet will be under one roof, and the company intends to compress supply chains as much as possible. This suggests that the facility will likely be built in a region where significant Tier 1 and Tier 2 manufacturing capability already exists, possibly in the Southeast or Texas. Five million square feet is a gigantic building, but employment is expected to be only 1,500 people as AI and advanced automation advance. The company expects that the manufacturing system will be easy to duplicate with follow-on facilities patterned after the first one, including possible locations outside the US. If successful, the new facility may become the prototype for a paradigm shift in armaments design, development, manufacturing, and procurement. Swarms of low-cost, AI-driven, and fully autonomous drone weapon systems in the air, on the ground, and in the sea may replace the crude, highly capable but costly, armored vehicles, aircraft, and submarines. The conflict in Ukraine may have shown us the way wars will be fought in the future. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.